What's good, Jason? Here, everyone. I'm Ryan. You're watching Funkamon. Hope you're having a great day. It's Sunday, so since it's Sunday, it means we got that two-minute drill. So let's get it going. Yeah. You're having a great day here in Canada. It is Thanksgiving, so for uh, for all my fellow Canadians, I hope you're eating a lot of turkey, spending time with your family, doing all that fun jazz. Enough of that. This week's two-minute drill is going to be on why. I started collecting Funko Pops, Michaela and I actually, why we started collecting Funko Pops, okay? So let's, so let's get right into it. But real quick, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, like the video, smash that thumbs up button, hit us in the comments, let us know what's going on. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to know when that heat is coming, because the heat is coming. And don't forget, like the video, help me, help you, help me, baby. Okay, anyway. All right, so. Let's get the timer going real quick here. Let's throw it up on the screen. All right, everyone. We got the timer on the screen there. So long story short, the reason why I started collecting Funko Pops was because I simply wanted to. I thought they're very unique, they're different. I didn't think that many people in this area actually collected Funko Pops. Little did I know one of the biggest Funko Pop YouTubers, Top Pops, lives like 10 minutes away from us. So it's like, whatever, but they're different. You know what I mean? Like collecting action figures, and stuff like that is one thing, but Funko Pops, there's a wide variety. There's, they have almost a Funko Pop for every single kind of person. So there's definitely something that you could find that you like. As a kid growing up, I always collected action figures like Ninja Turtle, Batman. That's pretty much it though, you know what I mean? With Funko Pops, you know, they have your Disney line, you have your Ad Icons, you got the Simpsons, you have almost a little bit of everything. And I think it's really cool. And you know, it's fun, it's, it's, it's a nice hobby. It's really not that expensive. If you really break it down, if you have a hobby, like I don't drink, I really don't smoke, and uh, sorry, I don't smoke. I rarely drink. Like, I don't really spend any money. So when I'm buying a pop for 10, 20 bucks, you know, it's it's a cheap hobby and it's stuff that you can do with your girl. Like, I, me and Michaela have learned a lot about each other through Funk Pops, what we don't like, stuff that she loves, and I'm just like, you like that? Like, that's, that's trash. Like, everything I like is fire, so it doesn't really matter. But you know, like one of my best friends, Zam Collectibles, he started a business through Funko Pops and he's making a killing. So I mean, there's tons of stuff that you could do with it. And simply, at the end of the day, I just, I love it. It's my hobby. You know, we have an Instagram page. I know you guys are following us. You should be following us. And you know, we just post a bunch of stuff that we like. And it's, you know, it's, it's easy and it's fun. And I think if you don't have a hobby, you should definitely get one. It doesn't have to be Funko Pops, but you know, for, you know, 10, 20 bucks a pop, you know, you can show some of your character. Like on display right here, right beside us, so are my favorite pops I look at pretty much every day while I'm editing or gaming or whatever. Like it's, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. And I'm really happy that we ended up getting into this because then we started a YouTube channel for fun and see where this goes. But yeah, it's pretty much uh, why we started collecting Funko Pops. I want to know in the comments down below why you guys started watching Funko Pops, watching, why you guys started collecting Funko Pops. And if you collect anything else, or what other hobbies you have. Other than that, I'm Rai, you're watching Funko Mon. Hope you guys have a great day, and happy Thanksgiving, everyone. You stay classy, Funko Fan.